Welcome to Buckridge Homestead. I'm Angela and I'm so excited that you're here. The air is crisp and fresh and the morning breeze is gently blowing in the trees and the birds are all chirping. All of the animals are like calm, stretching, yawning, relaxing, and it's just a gorgeous day. My flowers are slowly coming to an end and it's getting really cool at night. It's early October now and the fog hangs in the air below the mountains now in the mornings. The weather makes for a beautiful walk every day and I can walk in the leaves and crunching in the leaves under my feet it just feels so fresh. When evening comes, I light candles, I turn my twinkle lights on above the sink and I sip a delicious homemade milky chai while planning the next day in my notebook. Fall to me is all about appreciating those small, cozy, simple little things. Look at these beautiful leaves and colors. Aren't they stunning? So, to me, when I think about that I almost didn't make it to survive to see this last birthday, I'm just totally flooded with gratitude and love for my life and my family. So, even when we're not close, as we live kind of far apart, I can still close my eyes and picture that everyone is there. And to me, fall is just the perfect time to reflect and reset and recharge for the coming winter. For here in the Canadian Great North, it comes pretty early and pretty chilly. And I'm going to be writing in my morning journal the seven ways that I recharge reset. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned because it's going to be really fun. This is going to be the perfect time to do this as it's fall and we can get organized if you didn't in September because sometimes I feel like I kind of miss the September boat now that I don't have small children in school where that's when I would usually get all reset but I'm doing it now. So what I like to start with first is looking at summer and really reflecting on what we did and I can definitely say that we really sucked every ounce of sun that we could out of summer. In between hospital visits, we visited lots of family, more than I ever would have if I didn't go down south for the heart biopsy. When we went on garden tours, we went on lunch dates, we had family barbecues, we went on drives. We really tried to enjoy all the time that we could. So now I just want to share with you some routine in my life, bring some routine into my life, and share with you the seven ways I'm going to reset and recharge for fall and winter. Before I get started, I'm just going to pop these homemade banana breads in the oven. I've just sprinkled on some brown sugar on the top to make a really crusty outside and they're going to be so delicious and they're going to make the house smell so good today. Mm. I won't be able to wait until they come out. So I'm just going to pop these guys in the oven and then we will start uh, looking at all of the planning and reflecting that we're going to do. So what I'd like to start with first is looking and reflecting on the summer past and the spring and seeing what we did. Looking at, I can think about all the um, times we were enjoying the sun, how many trips we went down south, how we visited tons of family, which is much more than I would have been able to do if I didn't have the heart transplant. Um, we went on garden tours, lunch dates, family barbecues, went to the lake, went for beautiful draws, and I just thoroughly enjoyed everything. And we really sucked the life out of every last day of summer that we could. So now I just want to, um, I just feel like I really need some routine in my life. 
I want to share with you the seven ways now that I'm going to reset for fall and winter because it's just that time of year for me where I feel like I got to get back into routine. I need that that continuous, um, just that continuous routine. I want to exercise more. I want to be doing things, different things more. So yeah, let, I just want to share my seven ways I'm resetting and hope that will help you spark some ideas of things you could do to have a fall reset. So the first thing that I got is this wellness planner so that I could start creating a routine. Um, it's got top three priorities, different things. Um, sugar-free day, caffeine-free day, just different ideas. I might not follow it exactly, probably won't, knowing me, um, but it's got meals where you can track and your water and things, and I think creating a daily routine would be number one. So for sure, I want to do some more sugar-free days. I want to track my water. I definitely want to go to bed earlier, so I'm going to use the sleep but you could track this on anything, even in a journal. Um, like this doesn't even have all the things that I want to do, but it has some good basics. I also want to um, track more exercise, go for, get at least a certain amount of steps per day. And that will be different for everybody because everybody's in different um, scenarios. But any kind of exercise like that. And I also want to do um, journaling in the morning. So that would be number one, creating a routine. Okay, so number two is clearing the clutter. I want to go through each room and get rid of stuff. I want to donate. I want to donate stuff from every single room. That's, I want to um, put all the summer stuff away, like including shoes, coats, things like that. I want to organize my computer and phone. I want to put my all my apps in full proper folders and label each one and organize that and maybe do a scan on my computer and clean off the home page. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but it's just another thing that when it's all cluttered up makes you feel so disorganized and stuff. I, and with the shoes and the clothes and stuff, that is all um, sandals and flip flops and things like that. I also want to do outside patio, which is outdoor um, furniture. I need to get rid of some plants on there that were annuals. I need to um, take them out of the pots and put them pots in the greenhouse. Uh, so that kind of thing. So that would be number two. So number three, I want to do some meal ideas. Now I don't do meal planning because meal planning to me, I use a lot of my leftovers in the dishes that I make for the next day. So I don't want to just go ahead and make a meal plan and then have all these extra things that I don't need because sometimes there's just only the two of us. So, but I do always need to make big batches because I need to make food for lunches the next day for work lunches. But I do want to do, um, make a list of crock pot ideas, things like that for busy days that I can do in the morning and then figure out what I have to prep later on and things that I can make double batches of um, and maybe make a grocery list and maybe like kind of like a staple one. So that would be like a standard one that I could use over and over. And I don't like to cook the same thing over and over. I don't like chicken every single day or beef every single day or no, some days we don't even have meat. So um, I like to switch things around so we get like a kind of a variety. 
So that is something that I want to do to, to kind of get organized because I don't like the day is gone and now it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm thinking about what to make. So that would be my number three. Number four is to make a list of things to do to have more fun and family time. That would include stuff like family dinners and putting those on the calendar. So picking the dates now ahead, going to fun things like having um, oops, game nights at home. Uh, we also have a corn maze kind of thing, going for drives. One day this week, we had a bunch of, I didn't get it because I have no, my Facebook was hacked and I've lost all my memories. So if I have one tip for you back with number two, clearing the clutter, it would be to save all the photos from your phone onto your computer so that you could have those pictures and not rely on posting them on Facebook if you use Facebook. Because I have usually have all these memories of pictures that I don't have that phone anymore and I didn't save all those pictures and now they're all gone and I was very devastated. So sometimes on hubby's phone, he will get a memory, not very often because he didn't post much, but if I tagged him, there would be a memory there. And the other day, a really cool memory came up with us. We went for a drive and way out into the forest down these dirt roads and we found these old um, cars that were out in the forest and we sat in them and took pictures and they came up in his feed. And so I thought, why don't we go for a drive there and take new pictures of us doing the same thing. And we are would be 10 years older and the pictures will be definitely drastically different. So... I thought something like that would be fun. You know, um, the odd dinner out is fantastic. I am going to talk about budgeting and saving money here on one of these. So not a lot of that, but definitely some. And also walks together. Walks together in nature, in the leaves is just so, I just love it. All those, there's lots of free stuff that you can do to create more fun and family time. So that for me, that's what I'm going to do is make a list of those things. Now, number five. Number five, I want to create goals. So what I want to do is I want to create goals to hit before the end of the year. I want to plan them out. Um, things to work towards. And that would be uh, business and family and home. Um, another important thing with goals is to do is maybe it helps sometimes to start thinking about what kind of habits you're in right now and what are working for you and what are not working for you and what kind of things you want to stop, start or keep doing. And notice those things. So that's what I'm going to write is stop, start, and keep going. So the things that are working for me, I'm going to continue doing. And there's a few things I definitely want to stop doing. And most of that is related to food and sugar and things like that. So I want to create some goals. I don't always want to have things that are exactly black and white, but maybe for you it's weight loss. Maybe for you it's something in your business or maybe it's for you is in your family, you want to have more family time or something. Whatever those goals are for you, um, write them down because you can't hit them and you're not even close to as easy as if you, if you write them down. Okay, number six is I want to do a deep clean of the house. Um, and because I'm going to be decluttering, I'm going to have a lot less stuff is what I'm hoping to be able to do a deep clean. So I'm going to do room by room. And this isn't something I'm going to do every day. But I think what I want to do is make a list of 
all the things for sure I want to do. We have a log house, so there's a lot of wood. And I really want to be able to dust some of the logs. So whatever it is for you. But deep cleaning um, is definitely on my list. Now, number seven. Number seven is saving money. I just ordered um, a budgeting book, which is really, really, really helpful. I also ordered a book that is um, a all about less spending, and it's not a reading book. It's an actual savings, saving envelope savings book, and it's all about um, saving like as it, if you've ever seen cash stuffing, I don't do that because I don't have cash handy. I don't, we never have cash. So that doesn't work for me. But just being able to save and allocate money is something that I definitely want to do for a fall reset because summer has went by and you know, you've had lots of barbecues. We've been traveling a lot. We've been doing a lot of extra spending that we don't normally do. And so there's power in tracking. And so I want to do less spending. And when I get my budget books, I will show you guys. But I'm just going to basically tightening things up. I'm not doing anything like no spending because for me with where we live, sometimes it just doesn't work out. But um, I'm definitely going to be doing this for now. So I hope that these reflections, goal and reset ideas have inspired you to like get going or slow down or whatever it is for you, but to look at the rest of the year as an opportunity and to not like waste your days away, <laughs> to fill them with time of family, friends, and alone time because that's super important and I love my time being alone. That's when I can think straight. For me, it's really important, but that's when you can figure out what you desire. So make your lists, plan, set your goals, clean, declutter, get your body under control. Uh, this is a beautiful opportunity. There's no, you don't have to wait till January to start anything. You can start something right now. Um, you can make slow little changes right now. And they say that it takes 21 days to make a... Uh, uh, permanent habit change so there you, there's no point in waiting till January you may as well start right now well friends thank you so much to each and every one of you I'm honored that you are here and appreciate my videos thank you so much until next time I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did you can enjoy and check out my other playlists if you like bye for now friends So that was my version of reset, refresh, and recharge. I look forward to getting started on my list, and I hope you guys have a good time planning out your fall reset. I hope you get some useful ideas from the video. Once again, bye for now, friends.